in this video we're going to have a look at this mixing circuitry here that's going to pull in the uh, control signal square waves from the Arduino and merge it with the carrier wave generated by the crystal oscillator so that we can actually control our truck. So the circuit itself takes in two inputs. This one here is going to be connected to the crystal oscillator and then we have this one here which will be hooked up to the Arduino and then our output will be the antenna here. We don't really do much amplification in this circuit, so it's really just doing this mixing function. Let's take a look at the circuit in multi-sim. Uh, we can see it's kind of broken into two parts, a left-hand part and a right-hand part, and over here we've got the crystal oscillator circuit feed-in that I was showing you before, and over here we have the, the control signal square waves coming in from the Arduino. Let's have a look at the left-hand section first. This is basically an emitter follower circuit and its job is to uh, stop anything that's going on in the right hand half of the circuit messing with what's going on in the crystal oscillator. Basically all it does is anything that comes in through the capacitor here is just going to be replicated on the output from the transistor here. Let's take a look at what's going on with some probing. So I'm just going to temporarily put a switch in here to disconnect the other part of the circuit and we're going to grab this voltage probe and we'll put that on the crystal oscillator so we can see what's going on there and we'll put another voltage probe uh, on the output so we can see what's going on there and then if we run up the simulation in the grapher we can see two waveforms going on and if we just zoom in a little bit here we can see that we've got and I'll pause it we've got one sine wave coming in and then another sine wave of about the same size coming out. So if we took a, take a look now at the right hand half of the, the circuit, and I've, what I've done is I've put the probe at the Arduino pin, and we can see that it's generating a square wave pulse that is feeding in through this resistor into the base of the transistor. And what that's basically doing is turning this transistor either fully on or fully off. So we're just gonna use this transistor as a switch so to see what impact that switch would have on the, the signal to the antenna, I've put a probe on the antenna. And what I'm gonna do here is actually use this switch circuit here rather than the transistor. So I'll just delete out this wire here and we'll run, run one to the antenna like that. So here's the circuit running and we can see the sine wave that's coming from the crystal oscillator through and that's hitting the antenna. But if I short that to ground by turning on the switch, then that entire sine wave signal is going to get suppressed because of its path to ground. And then obviously when I open the circuit again, then we get our sine wave back. And basically this transistor is doing exactly what this switch is doing, except it's being turned on and off by the square wave signal from the Arduino through its base. So now what I've done is I put a probe at where the Arduino pin is and also uh, one, left the one at the antenna and we can just see that as we get a, a high signal from the Arduino then that, that signal at the antenna is being suppressed and then when it drops low we get the full signal coming out at the antenna and that cycle repeats on and off controlled on a cycle that is set by the rate that the Arduino turns on and off its pin. So let's look at it on the scope. The yellow line here is the probe that's attached to the pin of the Arduino and we can see there different square waves that we can generate and pass through. And then the blue line, this one here, is of the probe that's attached to the antenna. So as we vary the square waves, we can see that the output on the antenna varies to match. And that's our mixing circuitry, which then goes together with the other parts to make our controller for our truck. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.